stay tuned because these questions can save you a couple hundred dollars. Now when people tend to shop, including myself, we have the urge to just buy, buy, buy. Instead of just stopping and asking ourselves some questions of whether the purchase that we're going to make is the right one. Now with these helpful questions, next time you're about to purchase something, a clothing item or a watch or something, jewelry, these questions could help you save a ton of money. Question number one, can you buy it for cheaper? Let's use this shirt for example. I bought this shirt at like Ross, I think for like 12 bucks. But I could probably find the exact same shirt looking from a different brand at Macy's or a regular department store for probably like 50 bucks. So the question is to ask yourself is can you get it for cheaper? Most of the times you can. I mean you might lose a little bit of quality, but if you're putting the time and effort into researching and looking online and stuff, you could probably get the exact same looking item for cheaper. Way more cheaper. But the decision is yours to make if you want to spend that money or not. Question number two, how often are you going to wear it? Let's say a tux. Let's say you need to wear a tux for a black and white event and you go buy tux. How often are you going to wear that tux other than that black tie event? Probably once, right? So you're better off renting one than just buying one as it is. Question number three, do you have something that looks just like it? Let's use this shirt for example. If I have another white shirt that has a pattern on it, should I buy it? Probably not, unless I really love it. Because I already have this shirt, why would I need to get a duplicate shirt if I already have this one, you know? Question number four, will it go out of style? Trends come and go throughout the years and knowing what clothes to pick for those trends is crucial to saving a lot of money. Let's just say for example floral ties. Floral ties was in last spring and summer and it's back again for this year's spring and summer as a trend. So I probably got one. You should probably get one as well knowing that it'll probably be in next year's summer spring trend as well. So you just gotta be smart in knowing what's classic pieces and what's just trending and what won't be trending next year. Question number five and this goes along with question number two as well. Is it versatile? Can you wear the one item that you're buying with a bunch of other items that you already have in your closet? If not, then you probably shouldn't buy it at all. Question number six, can you wear it everywhere? This ties along with versatile and with question number two with the tux. Can you wear it everywhere? Buy pieces that you can wear up and down, meaning you can wear it to semi-formal occasions to just casual occasions. Being smart and just being able to know when to dress it up and when to dress it down is very key to saving a lot of money when you're buying new clothes. Question 7, do you have to rationalize it? For example, let's say for this shirt, right, before I bought it, I had to rationalize that I had to give up dinner to get this shirt to stay in my price range of how much money I want to spend. If I had to do that, I shouldn't buy this shirt. I, I should rather eat my dinner than buying this shirt. If you have to give up a bill such as like a mortgage or a light bill or a house bill or any bills to buy a particular clothing, you best not just not buy that piece of clothing and pay that bill off, you know? Question number eight, is it comfortable to wear? If it's not comfortable, just don't buy it. If you have to like suck in your gut and hold it there so the shirt or pants can fit, don't buy it. Just save your money. Question 9, the last question and probably the most important one to ask is do you love it? If you don't love it, why bother buying it? If you're going to hate it in like a couple months or something. Just if you love it, buy it. If you don't, put it back. Hey, what's up everyone? Thank you so much for watching today's video. Hopefully those questions will hopefully help you guys save more money when you ask yourself that next time you purchase some clothes. Previous video over here, mystery video over there. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, like and favorite, comment below if you want me to talk about anything else that you want to learn. Other than that, thank you so much. Have a great day. Peace!